Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We've got points for Star Wars Legion. That's right. You've been waiting for these points updates that have been talked about, talked about, and talked about some more. They were supposed to be out a while back, and there was an announcement from AMG saying that they were going to be delayed, and that uh, they, just, they just weren't ready, and we have to be patient, and things are ready when they're ready, and I get that. I understand that, and they're ready. Because, well, they're, they're kind of ready because they're out, but they're not legal for two weeks. So, you have a little bit of time. And they said they wouldn't be out before the UK Games Expo. That just wrapped up. And then last night, they dropped this on us. And it is the points adjustments, version 2.6, effective June 15th, 2023. So, if you're watching this in, like, August of 2023, this is old news. You should already be playing with these for a while now. If you're watching this in early june of 2023 hello and welcome to the channel hopefully you guys will stick around we talk a lot about star wars legion and other star wars tabletop games also want to thank today's sponsor luxury playstyle amazing full metal tokens fully compatible with star wars legion these are double-sided metallic and gorgeous they look fantastic on your tabletop i use them in my battle reports if you want to see how they look check out some of my legion battle reports i'm always using these tokens in my games they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you use code Krabok, VIP, you're going to save 15%. So definitely do that. Check them out. They make great gifts. Father's Day is just around the corner. So, uh, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod. Get yourself some, or treat yourself. You know, do, do both. Get your father some tokens. Get yourself some tokens. Play together with these awesome tokens. And uh, you'll have a good time. All right, so let's talk about this points update. I'll put a link to it in the video description below so you can check it out yourself. Uh, we've got... A lot of adjustments, <clears throat> a lot of kind of small adjustments. Um, they, they color coded these, uh, but I don't think they're color coded super accurately because uh, while most of these are, are points that look like they went down uh, just a little bit, like most of it's like only five or 10 points, there are some things that went up. And uh, so the changes are, are in blue, I think for the most part. Uh, I looked at it just briefly before starting this. Uh, and, and I think there's like maybe something that got missed, but uh, but I think for the most part the changes are in blue, and for the most part uh, they for the most part they kind of went down. So we got ancient Callus going down. Um, so Callus went down I think like five points. What was he? Um, I think he was ninety, and he went down to eighty five. Uh, but his his staff went down to five. Uh, I don't know remember what the staff was before. Let me see. Uh, I guess it was it, that went down a lot. So that the staff was I think fifteen points. So now he can. So that's that's effectively like a fifteen point reduction for Callus. And so he's not the first person who, while the unit went down, something else went down also. Um, e Webs went down to fifty. General Veers went down to seventy. Uh, the Imperial officer. Uh, I think this one went up. So this one is is uh, five points more expensive. It went from 45 to 50. Um, your Stormtrooper Heavy Response Unit is 40. I don't ever run them. I don't run Blizzard Force. So, <laughs> frankly, just because like everybody was running Blizzard Force, and I'm like, ah, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I want to run. I'll do it one day, but I don't want to do it when it's like like seen as crazy overpowered, especially since... Like, speeder bikes didn't go down, or didn't go up, and I thought the speeder bikes would have changed, and they're just the same, and I'm like, weren't they the one thing that was maybe most broken in the game? Like, especially with Blizzard Force, and having four speeder bikes, I, I thought that was going to be something that was going to change, but that's not what changed. Uh, apparently the speeder bikes are exactly where they were. Uh, Dewback Riders, weapons got changed a little bit, Dark Troopers, uh, points got changed a little bit, uh, Assault Cannon is 55, the Frag Launcher is now... 45. Let's go down to the Rebels. Uh, Lando goes down just a little bit. To, uh, from, from He's down to 95. Leia goes down to 75. Uh, Commander Luke Skywalker also goes down. He was 160. So he's down to 150. I like that. I like that. Um, your, Mandalor your Rebel Mandalorians both went down. You have the Mandalorian Resistance that went down. And Clan Wren went down a little bit. But the cool thing is Clan Wren didn't just go down here. Clan Wren also went down on Tristan and Ursa Wren, the 34 and 34 now. So that's, uh, I haven't done the math, but you got basically points taken off times three, but it's not, I don't think it's a full, like a full reduction. Let me see, Clan Wren was, uh, 
they were, let's see, Clan Ren, Ma Mandalorian Resistance. Uh, Clan Ren was 34 before this. And, um, and, and, they, and Tristan and Ursa were each 38. So four, 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 so 16 point reduction. I think they were trying to aim for 15. They said, let's just do 16 because that'll be symmetrical. Symmetricitis with each other. Tauntaun Riders are now 90. Um, and that is, that is a, that's actually a five point reduction on Tauntauns. That's cool. Okay. Um, the SX-31 Rebel Trooper is 13 right now. And I think that's uh, most of the changes. Oh, um, one interesting one is Cassian Andor's, uh, well, Cassian himself didn't get changed. His uh, sniper config was 10 points, went down to zero. Uh, that's that's an interesting one um, because not only is that a really good upgrade or you know really good points reduction. I mean, it's a good item for him, especially you know that with that infinite range sniper rifle. But I have to face Cassian Andor quite a bit because my buddy Sean loves to run Rogue One inspired lists, and so it's bad enough that like. Jin Urso and Rebel Pathfinders have seen like seven or eight points reductions, but he also runs Cassian all the time now too, and so he got another ten points added to his list. I mean, pretty soon he's going to be running like Cassian K two S O Pathfinders Jin, and he's going to have enough points for like you know Rebel Luke or, or a Jedi Luke in there too, because of all the points he's saving. Pretty soon Cassian's just going to be free, and Jin's going to be free. You know, <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, they're good units too. You know. Uh, we got the Galactic Republic here. Um, this one is is interesting. We've got um, Arc Troopers went down a little bit. Captain Rex down to 95. The Lat LE is uh, is only down five points. Again, they, it, it's weird that they just went like five points on just about everything. They didn't do massive reductions on a lot of stuff. Um, some things five, some things ten. Um, Padme went down a little bit. The TX went down ten points. Uh, so your saber tank is down a little bit, but some things went down more than that because if you look at the points reduction to the the, the, the weapons and stuff like that, um, the beam cannon turret is 15 now. The missile pods for the I, I infantry support platform are down to 25. Uh, twin blaster cannons for the infantry support platform also 25, and then the twin beam cannon 25. The rad nasp gunner is at 15 now, uh, but not many uh, other changes to the republic. Which is a little surprising. I don't know if uh, Arc Troopers being 66 points now, um, down from 72. That's four, five, six point reduction. I don't know if that's enough. It's a small reduction. I don't know if it's enough to fix the. I don't think it's going to fix the Republic all that much. I think. Um, I think. This, I mean, you're going to see more tanks now. Maybe some more. Maybe a little more infantry support platform. I think they wanted you to do more ISP, but. They didn't want to do the ISP by itself because, I mean, it, then you have an... Because the infantry support platform is only 65 points and it's an armor three, uh, you know, hover ground. Like, it's a decent little thing by itself. Um, but, but yeah, like, yeah, if you would have nerfed that, if you had, like, if you had, like, a 55-point heavy with armor three flying around the battlefield, you know, like, that might, might be a little bit problematic. So... So I can see why they did it this way. Let's nerf the, the, the weapons to encourage people to run it the way it was kind of intended to be run, I think. I think that's the goal there. Separatists uh, got a couple of interesting ones. Um, General Grievous, uh, I think, is the biggest uh, thing that I'm, I'm happy to see here. Uh, because General Grievous goes down to 150. This is from 155. So while that seems like a five-point reduction, you also have his Annihilator Pistol. Down to zero, you get to take the Annihilator Pistol for free every time... This I love because there's so many times I've run General Grievous and I've had to drop the Annihilator Pistol because it's like 10 points, uh, or it was like 10 points. No, I'm sorry, 8 points. I think it was originally 12. But yeah, it was originally 12. It had been nerfed down to 8. Still expensive. Still very expensive. And uh, and I'm happy to see it's free now um, because Grievous needs that. It's a, it's a good pistol. It's a really good, I mean, it's critical one, pierce one melee or range up to, up to two versatile um it's got four dice on it and he's already got um you know he's already got problems trying to get you know in the range to do all the melee stuff so i i love it i love the i love that it's free it makes me happy i like running general grievous so that's good um your your, your bx droids got a little bit of love they're 64 points with 10 points for the shields um 
the BX droids. Uh, let's see, what were they before? Um, they were 68, so they're down to just four points there. Um, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. The strike teams, I don't think, got changed though. Um, well, I guess they kind of did. If you were going to look, if you're going to put the shields on them, uh, I liked to put the shields on the snipers. Um, then the shields were 18, so going down to 10 there is a pretty significant, uh, you know, boost to them. Uh, that will help strike teams that want to run a sniper and a deflector shield. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. I mean, if you do that. Uh, and then you have Droidicas, the 70, and uh, uh, Dooku to 185 from, where was he, 195? That's a 10-point drop for Dooku. So suddenly I'm thinking, should I re revisit my seven sabers list? I've saved, you know, 10 points off of Dooku. I've saved uh, like 15 or ish, close, almost, or 13 off of Grievous. I, like that's 23 extra points uh, that I have in my old seven sabers list that used to lose terribly every time I've tried to run it. I imagine this time it would lose terribly, but with the additional embarrassment of having had an extra 23 points wasted. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then uh, the Black Sun got some uh, got some adjustments as too. Um, but they got some adjustments in the wrong ways. Like, uh, they, you know, the, uh, well, mercenaries, I should say, you know, your, your, your shadow collectives and, and whatnot. Um, your Black Sun Enforcers went up to 50. Um, the the black mag debt enforcers the cost here is still in black um which is weird to me um i think that's just a, a, a slight error they were 14 but now they're 16 so i think that when somebody was highlighting everything for the color change they did one of these and they just it didn't like they didn't go down to the next like they probably meant to select that much and say make it blue and they probably just dragged to there and said make it blue and so that's why the 16 is black when it should be blue. Very, very minor little thing, but that's, a, that's an increase. Your uh, Super Commandos, 28 and 28 for the Gunslinger and the Marksman. Swoop Bike Riders at 65. Mandalorian Super Commando unit is at 70. Um, so a little little reduction on the Mandos, uh, which is cool. I ran a big uh, Gar Saxon uh, and Mando list not too long ago. Um, and this is five points off of Gar Saxon, five points off of the Mando Super Commandos. That's pretty, you know, a little bit of extra stuff. It helps. Helps you have room for that extra upgrade. Or if it, or maybe enough of it gives you room for a whole other unit if you were close. Um, for new, neutral stuff, uh, this, the, the quad laser cannon for the AA5 is now 25, um, which is kind of cool. I don't know how much of a, oh, that's only a three point change because it was a, i mean it was originally 36 but it had been nerfed down to 28 so um three more points off of that it's it's fine it's it's an upgrade i really like to take on the on the truck because the speeder truck is uh completely weaponless you know if you don't take a, a hard point and the heavy laser is just okay i mean i guess it's not bad but i like the quad laser gun it's it's beautiful makes it into a big beefy party bus uh, and that's it. That's everything for the uh, the, 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 the the points change. Um, my big takeaways here is I think Empire got better. I think Separatists with Grievous got got significantly better. I think Rebels with Cassian got better. I, I don't I don't know um, I don't know if this did as much for the Republic as as they may have wanted to do. Um, I, I I don't see anything in here that's like a massive change though. Unless you were running a list that had like multiples of these at the same time like i feel like with the empire a lot of this is stuff that was impacting blizzard force you know like having veers and e-webs and the uh, both go down in in, in cost um and i think is significant uh so that's that's an interesting thing I, I i really i'm not sure i'm not sure um the the for the stormtroopers that heavy response unit was um they were 30 so this goes up to 40 i suppose that's a little bit of a, a balancing thing but i mean if you were really running a lot of snow troopers and stuff and weren't doing as much with the heavy response unit i don't know if it's that big of a uh a, that big of a difference um i don't know uh, it's uh but i feel like this is uh this is potentially good for blizzard force potentially good for grievous based lists but i don't know how many separatists are really running grievous He's okay. I, his command cards, I think, are one of the biggest things that need work. He's uh, he's got the really good one pip, but the rest of his command cards I just don't like, um, at least compared to other command cards by other folks. So, 
But anyway, I'm going to put a link to all these points where you can check them out uh, for yourself. And I'm sure the uh, all the fantastic support and you know le uh, updated you know list builders will probably have all this stuff um, done uh, very soon if they haven't already. So I'm sure they'll be that all that stuff will be available. Again, these go live on June 15th. So if you were playing in something this weekend, still going to use the old points. Uh, June 15th is when the new points will go live. So you have some time to kind of prepare yourselves. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. And uh, stay tuned for more Legion and all kinds of other Star Wars gaming news. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are fan-freaking-tastic. Thank you so much for your support. May the Force be with you. And always keep on dancing, dancing, dancing. <laughs>